To express a number as a percentage, you're going to multiply it by 100, because remember, per, for each cent, cent is the word for 100, so a percentage is actually 25 out of 125%. So if we want to express an, any number as a, as a percentage, multiply by 100, if we've already got a fraction or a decimal, we'll divide that by 100 to express it as uh, to express a percentage back into a fraction or decimal. Percentage of a number can be found using multiplication. So 25 of, 25% 25 of 26 is like saying, we divide that by 100, that's why it's 0 0.25, so we, we know what we're dealing with, or you probably know how to express that as a fraction. And of is code word for multiply. So 0 0.25 times 26 gives us 25% of 26 is 650. Uh, to find the original amount, there's, there's a couple things you can do. You can use the unitary method, or you can use division. So the unitary method of, say, finding 3% of an amount is 36. So we know that 36 is equal to 3. So what's 1% then? Divide 36 by 3. This number, get, number gives us 1%. Obviously, 1% times 100 is that. So there's our original amount. The other thing you can do is a little bit of sneaky algebra here and use division. So 3% of the amount, 36. So what we're looking at is decimal version of the percentage times whatever this questionable amount is. We know that that's 36. So what we'll do is divide by the same number on both sides, and that gives us our original amount of 1,200. Let's play around with it and see what happens. <clears throat> if we're expressing 0 0.25 as a percentage, what does it say to do? To express a number as a percentage, we multiply by 100. So 0 0.45, you can probably do this without me writing it out, is to, uh, to slip that puppy along so we don't have the decimal anymore, and that gives us 45%. To express 25% as a decimal, so we've got a percentage, and we're told up here to do, to express as, as that, we divide by 100. So 25% divide by 100 equals moving that decimal, <clears throat> or shifting the numbers around that decimal, I might say, so that we express it as 0 0.25. That is that number as a decimal. Now, the percentage as a fraction. So how do we express something like a fraction? We want 3 and 1 quarter percent without it being a percent anymore, and it's a fraction. So to do that, to express a percentage as a fraction, we divide by 100. So again, to express a number like 3 and a quarter percent as a fraction, we need to divide that fraction by 100. So we're going to take 3 and 1 quarter and divide by 100. 100. Turn that into a mixed fraction, okay. 13 over 4 times the reciprocal. The reciprocal of any whole number, that number of a 1, is 1 over that number. And we just simply multiply them together, and I'm sorry, but that's as clean as you got. 3 and 1 quarter percent is 13 out of 400. That's what you get. Now, to express 50 cents out of 250, out of is different than of. Out of is usually divide. So 50 cents out of 250. And why did I say 250? Because I want to convert that so that we're dealing with cents. As a percentage, to turn a fraction into a percent times 100. Now we can cancel these out pretty readily. These are both divisible by 55. So then we get, let's make it a little cleaner, one fifth of 100, and that'll give us 20. 100 divided by 5, 20, that's our percentage. 15% of 35. So 15%, we could turn that into a decimal and multiply that by 35. We could do this, 15%, and we can do a bit of cross-canceling and find our answer to be... And finally, we got two ways to figure this one out. Find the original amount if 5% of the amount is 45. So 5%, oh, we should express that as, let's say, a decimal, of, what does of mean? Times, this is what we don't know, is the amount. So in algebra language, we would replace that with an x if we were in the mood, is equal to 45 smackaroos. So what we could do, if that's 5%, we could work out the unitary method the unitary method is, if 5% equals $45, then we can find out by dividing by the number itself what 1% is, 
and divide by the number. 1% is 9, so therefore 100% we're going to we're going to multiply that by 100 is 900. Now the other way to do it is by division. So to find the amount, we're multiplying on this side, so we can divide by both. So 45 divide by, there should be a divide symbol there, 0 0.05 will give us the amount. And if you use your calculator, you should find that 45 divided by 0 0.05 will be 900 clams.